Greetings, unsettled souls. Gonna keep this one sort of quick. There's a, there's a hint. Now, before I begin this, let me say that this not only was gonna win the Dunce Cap of the Month award, but I was strongly, strongly going to ask people to make sure that this won the Golden Dumpty, the Dunce Cap of the Year. I was going to request that you guys voted for that when it came up. For those of you that don't know, the Golden Dumb D is for the stupidest freaking story of the year. And I don't think this could be beaten. So you ask, Sam, why didn't you give it the Dunce Cap of the Month award? Because I don't know who this idiot is or where this idiot lives. Now, I could probably track him down, and if somebody does so legally, using the internet, social media, respectfully, I don't want anything bad to happen to the person, it's not that bad, it's just that dumb, don't hurt them, don't harass them, but if you find them, I would like, I will send them a link to this show. That's how dumb this is. I couldn't make it the winner because they can't get mailed something if I don't know where they are. But this is the kind of thing, and I noticed this when I was a kid. My, my dad used to use the phrase, the average man walking down the street. And I realized something when I got old enough to go downtown and start walking down the street. The average person walking down the street is barely better than a blithering idiot, at worst, and roughly the reading level of a fourth grader, at best, uh, on any given day. <laughs> uh, it's terrifying how dumb people are. I remember when Billy Ellish didn't know who Van Halen was. You need to be quiet. You're just a Gen Xer and you don't understand. I'm sorry, Jimi Hendrix was before my time. But by the time I was Billy Ellish's age, I knew who Jimi Hendrix was. I did. It's true. Glenn Miller made swing music in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. I'm not that old. You know what? I knew who Glenn Miller was because I knew something about music, you twit! This is even dumber than that, but it does it, it does include Van Halen. All right, are you guys ready for this? This is from Ultimate Classic Rock. Wolfgang, he's commenting here on using Van Halen. The last time I checked, it was my effing name. The only reason I'm I, I, I'm censoring the censoring my language here and saying effing is because I have a feeling that this video is going to be sent all over the place. This is going to be one of my most popular videos, I think. Because people are going to look at this, oh my god. I mean, we already knew we lived in a world that's dumb enough where people think that, you know, Beyonce has a good singing voice. We live in a world where people think that, uh, you know, Ju uh, Justin Timberlake is the epitome of pop culture wisdom. Great talent. I know, I know the world's dumb, but... Wolfgang Van Halen, son of guitar great, in case you don't know who he is, uh, Eddie Van Halen, who died, mouth cancer, still can't catch a break from social media trolls. His band is called Mammoth. The Mammoth Van Halen, WWVH band leader, Wolfgang Van Halen, who released his debut album in June and recently completed a massive U.S. tour opening for Guns N' Roses, is no stranger to sparring online with Van Halen fans who want him to play songs from his late father, Eddie Van Halen, in concert. Keep in mind, he's not now in Van Halen. He has his own project. Now, should I... I do think it's weird he does none. But that's neither here nor there. I thought it was weird when I saw the Dead Daisies and uh, Karabi did nothing from Motley Crue. 
But then again, they've got members of Thin Lizzy, they've got members of White Snake, they've got members of Guns N' Roses. So if they're not, you know, they're, if everybody picked a song, they couldn't. So I, I get it. They wouldn't be any Dead Daisy songs. But I do think it's weird that Wolfgang does it. But I see why. He wants to make it on his own. Despite repeatedly explaining why he refuses to do so, Wolfgang once again found himself swatting away members of the peanut gallery. The scuffle began when one Twitter user, oh god, I wish I knew who, asked Wolfgang in a now-deleted tweet, why after all of your resistance against Van Halen fans did you decide to add WVH to your band name? Honest question. Wolfgang kindly supplied the obvious answer, the last I checked, it was my freaking name! He didn't say freaking. The multi-instrumentalist further aired his frustrations, and he goes on to say that uh, he's not going to be playing Van Halen songs. But somebody asked Wolfgang Van Halen why he's using the name and initials of Van Halen in a project that Wolfgang Van Halen began, founded, and tours with. That's how dumb the average person is. That's how dumb. Do you feel it? That's how dumb.